In this video we will learn what is economics, the meaning of economics, we will define economics from different points of view, we will learn about the scope and nature of economics, we will discuss about the assumptions in economics, and finally discuss the difference between economics and business economics. So, make sure to watch the full lecture to generate a more clear concept on these topics. Economics is the science that deals with production, exchange and consumption of various commodities in economic systems. It shows how scarce resources can be used to increase wealth and human welfare. The central focus of economics is on the scarcity of resources and choices among their alternative uses. Economics is broadly classified into two types, microeconomics, and macroeconomics. Microeconomics is a branch of economics that studies the behavior of individual consumers and organizations in the market. It focuses on the demand and supply, pricing, and output of individual organizations. Macroeconomics examines the economy as a whole and deals with issues related to national income, employment pattern, inflation, recession, and economic growth. Managers should have a clear understanding of different economic concepts, theories, and tools. Business economics or managerial economics is a specialized discipline of economics that undertakes a study of various economic theories, logic, and tools used in business decision making. Now, let's discuss a bit about the meaning of economics. The term economics owes its origin to the Greek word oikonomia, which can be divided into two parts, oikos means home, and omos means management, thus, in earlier times, economics was referred to as home management, where the head of a family managed the needs of family members from his limited income. Till the 19th century, economics was known as political economy. The book named An Inquiry into the Nature and Causes of the Wealth of Nations published in 1776, usually abbreviated as The Wealth of Nations, by Adam Smith is considered as the first modern work of economics. Defining economics has always been a controversial issue since time immemorial. Definition of economics by different economists have different viewpoints. Some economists had a viewpoint that economics deals with problems, such as inflation and unemployment while others believed that economics is a study of money. Therefore, a simple definition of economics is defined by taking four definition. First, Wealth Definition of Economics this is a classical definition of economics by Adam Smith, who is also considered as the father of modern economics. According to Adam Smith, economics is the study of the nature and causes of nation's wealth or simply as the study of wealth. Key features of wealth economics definition are, the main objective of economics is to gain maximum wealth as possible, the core of economic activity, are production distribution and consumption, it deals with the causes of the creation of wealth in an economy, the term wealth used in this definition referred to material wealth. Secondly, we have the welfare definition of economics, it is a neoclassical definition of economics by Alfred Marshall. According to Alfred Marshall, economics is the study of mankind in the ordinary business of life. It inquires how he gets his income and how he uses it. In one view, it is a study of wealth and on other hand it is part of study of man. The key features of welfare economics definition are, it defines economics as the study of activities related to a human being and their material welfare. Marshall clarified that economics is related to incomes of individuals and its uses for creating material welfare. Collectively incomes of a group of individuals form the wealth of a nation and ultimate goal is to increase welfare of individual by their routine activities. Then we have, the scarcity definition of economics, it is a pre-Keynesian definition of economics by Robbins in his book Chessays on the Nature and Significance of the Economic Science in 1932. According to Lionel Charles Robbins, economics is a science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means which have alternative uses. The key features of scarcity economics definition are, it recognized that economics is a science deal with the economic behaviors of a human being, it also focuses on optimum utilization of scarce resources, it provides three basic features of human existence, which are unlimited wants, limited resources, 
and alternative uses of limited resources. There is a need for efficient use of scarce resources, and the primary objective of economics is to ensure efficiency in the use of resources with a purpose to satisfy human wants. And finally we have, the growth definition of economics. This is the modern perspective definition of economics by Samuelson. He provided the growth-oriented definition of economics. According to Paul Samuelson, economics is the study of how man and society choose with or without the use of money to employ the scarce productive resources, which have alternative uses, to produce various commodities over time and distributing them for consumption, how or in the future among various person or groups in society. The key features of growth economics definition are, it deals with the allocation of scarce resource to be used in productive purposes, the selection of the most efficient use of the resources from alternative ways, the growth of economies will depend upon the consumption and production in the economy. This definition also points towards economics as a study of an economic system. So, as we can see, Economics have different definition of economics by different economists and social thinkers with different objectives and contexts, all these definitions are correct and none can be taken as universally acceptable. Now, let's look into the scope of economics. The scope of economics has been broadened to many and some mentionable areas are, microeconomics, macroeconomics, international arena, public finance, welfare, health, environmental studies, urban and rural development. Now, when we discuss about the nature of economics, there are a number of controversial issues related to its nature. But in order to understand the true nature of economics, we can view economics as a science, we can view economics as an art, and we can also view economics as a social science. Now, let's discuss about some assumptions in economics. There are certain assumptions in economics about an economic situation to happen in the future. Economists use assumptions to break down complex economic processes and advocate different theories to understand economic variables. Three important assumptions in economics are, consumers have rational preferences, existence of perfect competition, and existence of equilibrium. First of all, consumers have rational preferences. This assumption states that consumers act in a rational manner and focus on satisfying their needs. It is also assumed that the tastes of consumers remain constant for a long period. For instance, a consumer who is vegetarian may not change his or her preferences in the near future. Second, existence of perfect competition. According to this assumption, there is perfect competition in an economy, wherein there are numerous buyers and sellers. It is assumed that homogeneous products exist in the market and both buyers and sellers cannot affect prices. And thirdly, existence of equilibrium. As per this assumption, equilibrium exists wherein both consumers and entrepreneurs achieve maximum satisfaction. In a market, there can be two types of equilibrium, industry equilibrium and firm's equilibrium. An industry is at equilibrium if profits achieved are normal. On the other hand, a firm is at the state of equilibrium if its profits are maximum. So, finally let's learn the difference between economics and business economics. Difference number 1, economics is a traditional subject that has prevailed from a long time, whereas, business economics is a modern concept and is still developing. Difference number 2, economics mainly covers theoretical aspects, whereas, business economics covers practical aspects. Difference number 3, in economics, the problems of individuals and societies are studied, whereas, in business economics, the main area of study is the problems of organizations. Difference number 4, in economics, only economic factors are considered, whereas, in business economic, both economic and no economic factors are considered. Difference number 5, both microeconomics and macroeconomics fall under the scope of economics whereas, only microeconomics falls under the scope of business economics. And, difference number 6, economics has a wider scope and covers the economic issues of nations, whereas, business economics is a part of economics and is limited to the economic problems of organizations. So, we have learnt what is economics, the meaning of economics, we defined economics from different points of view, we learnt about the scope and nature of economics. 
we discussed about the assumptions in economics, and the finally discussed the difference between economics and business economics. If this lecture was helpful, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.